Welcome back to After Church League, First Church of God. Hashtag After Church is back. It's our fourth installment as we roll out After Church 4.0. We're so glad you're going to be a part of it. We have a lot of exciting things and even some newcomers, some fresh faces here in the league this year. We just got word that Coach Peter Lafleur had just finished up one of their last practices and just got done meeting with the media. We're going to send it down and uh, show you just a little bit of what they covered. Let's hear from Coach LaFleur. Hey guys, uh, yeah, hey, good to see y'all. Let's get this thing started. Yeah, back there, Jim, yeah. Well, you know, Jim, uh, after Church League's back, we're excited. We've been preparing hard and uh, trying to get a lot of work done. It's been a challenge. Uh, the off season is what it is. We've had, uh, you know, our OTAs and just some opportunities to uh, get the groups together, get the work put in, and uh, now as we're wrapping up our last few practices, we're excited. Yeah, excited a lot. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, you know we we have we've uh, we've made some additions this uh, this off season. We've uh, we brought in uh, one guy we're, we're really particularly pleased with, a uh, really uh, promising veteran, um, actually spent some time in the, the penal leagues um, in Ionia for a little while, uh, name's Mark McQuillan. We, we've brought him on, he's going to be uh, hanging in there, uh, let's see, let's go through, yeah, he's going to be with our, uh, our middle school students, and uh, we are looking forward to Mark, uh, Mark teaching those guys, they're going to be located in the the conference room, going to be doing a good job for us. Mark really shows some promise. He's a wily, uh, even crafty old veteran. And uh, again, we're just looking forward to that. Also, uh, another one we we're bringing in here to work with our adults, we're excited about is Jeff Switzer. Uh, that was an off-season acquisition. Uh, had to do some work. He, he, uh, he's the kind of guy, though, that just delivers. Uh, has worked for the Postal Service for a lot of years. And, and Jeff, I'll tell you, you know, uh, the stats don't lie here, I'm telling you. He, uh, he just really, really can get the job done. So he's going to be teaching a, a tough topics class. And, and we couldn't be more excited about, about that. So, yeah, thanks, Bill. Thanks. Yeah, I, I, I get your concern back there, Gloria. Thank you for that, uh, that question. You know, we, we do really care about, uh, about our young people here at this church. And so we've, we've uh, tried to have some continuity. We have Roger Labazo. Uh, man, Roger. Another crafty veteran, um, just really brings his A-game each week. He'll be teaching our senior high class, our high school youth. He's been doing that. This will be actually the, the fourth year of having Roger in there. And that continuity just really leads to some great things. The kids will tell you, too. Uh, I'll tell you, man, the, these students, these students, they're going to tell you. One thing that's great about Roger is he always brings the candy. He always brings the cookies. And he brings a good a good lesson. Those three things, cookies, candy, and good lesson, I mean, that's the key to success right there. Yeah, back there. Yeah. You know, I'm not even going to answer that question. You guys are fake news, and we, we can't even address that here. Okay, thank you. Yeah, moving on. Moving on. Nope, not dealing with that. Moving on. Yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah, back to, uh, back to our young people. We've got Lee Turner. Lee's returning to us again. We've really depended and counted on Lee for a lot of years down in the nursery. She'll be working with those young people and uh, having a good time. They will be learning. They're going to be learning through song and some fun games and, uh, and teaching them some basic uh, biblical truths. And so we're excited to have Lee back doing that for us. Uh, just She always does a great job for us. We just we appreciate Lee. And, and then in our, uh, our Word Searchers and Promise Peeps classes, that's roughly ages 3 through 5th uh, grade, We've got a rotation of uh, ladies that will be teaching. We're looking forward to that, too. Uh, added a few newer faces down there. And uh, just looking forward to uh, a great opportunity to break in some, some new rookies and also uh, have some veterans uh, just holding things down down there. And boy, throwing snacks at kids, whatever it is, you know, it gets the job done. That's good stuff. You know, sometimes you just overlook the folks who've just been committed to doing such a great job for a long time. And one of those people is Brenda Labazo. I mean, Brenda is one of those old, trusty folks that you just know is getting the job done. You don't even have to make sure she's getting all her workouts in during the off-season. She's putting in the time, putting in the work, 
to continue to make after church a good time. So we'll be teaching a class called uh, Attitude. Let me check the notes here. Yeah, you know, Brenda, she's going to do a good job. They'll be meeting in the main lobby area. and Just an idea of uh, to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self. That's what, that's what the notes say here. That's out of Ephesians. Good stuff. We're looking forward to another successful class with Brenda at the helm. Another adult class offering is uh, called Relationships, and Matt and Kristen Stone will be helping to teach this class, and it's just designed for couples that want to discover a path toward um, thriving relationships and moving forward together. And so we're excited for that. They, they had a good time last year is what it sounds like. Lots of folks uh, gathered around there, and, and I don't know if we... Uh, we maybe did any uh, grand things, but we at least, uh, misery loves company is what we'd say. And a little bit of suffering together as we work through relationships, that's good stuff. And so we're looking forward to more of that. 11.15 on September 8th, when we kick off after Church League, we'll be ready. You know, one thing I know our folks have been preparing, we brought on Mark McQuillan and Jeff Switzer as new additions. Okay, They've been preparing. They've been doing the work, putting in the time. But there is a difference between what you're doing on your street and when the lights go on on Franklin Street. And that's where we're going to continue to raise that bar so that when we kick off, we're ready. We're ready to go. Wow, thanks Coastal Floor. I know I'm excited, fired up for some After Church League Season 4.0. Boy, what an exciting time to be part of First Church of God and all the things that are happening here. We look forward to it. This is your last reminder. September 8th, 1115. Be in the class. Be ready. After Church League kicks off. We're so excited for you to be a part of it. Join us at 1115, September 8th. Make plans now to be here and participate.